watching. <laughs> I am Ursula. And, and I am your host, Ariel. Ariel. So for her costumes today, you guys, we went with the Ursula and Ariel route, but they kind of catfished us a little bit. They're hella ugly, dude. <laughs> okay, so when we were shopping for them, Wait. what? No, go look that way. What? All Einstein. I was going to say, why is he giving Einstein? <laughs> Wait, you guys have to see this picture on our Pretty Not Smart Instagram. On our Instagram, you guys, what the fuck? Are being serio, Einstein? We took hella funny pictures. <laughs> But when we were at the uh, the store buying them, Yati was like, you don't want to be Ursula and Little Mermaid? I was like, oh, my God, yes. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, and they're on sale. <laughs> and after we put them on, we were like, well, now we know we're why like, they were on we're sale. No they were 40% off, bitch. But tell me why I still paid fucking $70 for this shit. Mine too, 70 fucking bucks. And this is not a cute Ursula. I didn't know the Little Mermaid got legs after all. Well, the Little oh Mermaid had a collaboration with einstein apparently <laughs> you're like poor unfortunate song oh yeah that's her song <laughs> <laughs> mine is one day i'll be wait wait try to lip sing and i'm gonna try to like no no no. try to sing and i'm gonna lip sing since i supposedly stole your voice oh wait what song do i sing you just sing no that's not the song that she sings so she just goes, she goes ah. Ah. wait wait again oh, again never mind <laughs> no Ursula again. doesn't want your voice anymore ah. bitch <laughs> I'll stick to my voice thank I mean, you, you so do much it. I mean. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding you're like I've met that in my time I've been a nasty <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Triton he's coming what? Sebastian Ooh. You haven't watched the movie? A I little fake fan anything. over here. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> but on our last episode, we read some scary fan stories. Yeah, that was scary. And I had a scary thing happen to me last night. <gasps> Wait, you did? I did. So I wanted to share it on here before I told you anything. Uh, hey, what about your word of the year? Oh shit! Okay, what's the word? After, the word? guess you guys have to. Keep well, you're waiting. never fucking. Prepared. No, I, I have it. I've been reading comments. I've been on it, okay. guys. I am pretty not smart. Who is the worder? Okay. Okay, this one's gonna be hard. Leslie Magana, nineteen ninety, said, "Love the podcast." And if you guys read this, Yoatsi should have <laughs> Louis try to spell mischievous. Mischievous. Yeah. I've never even used that word in my life. It's like you're M up to mischief. I don't know. Yeah, that's not even how you say it. <laughs> I don't know. It. Yeah. M. Uh huh. I. Uh huh. S. Uh huh. C H. Wow, Lily. I. Uh huh. E. Uh huh. V. Uh huh. E S. Oh, you were so close. Oh no no no. V, v I O U S. No V O U S. I'm over it. Nah, dude, but you were so close. I yeah, hated yeah that Marcella. No. <laughs> that was really good. <gasps> Bitch, so I read the comments. Uh -huh. I read the comments. Uh -huh. We should do a video reading our hate comments. Somebody what? was like, <laughs> it was actually our reviews on our Pretty Not Smart. Go leave us good reviews, guys, on podcast. If you're not watching it on podcast. Oh, okay, okay. I went to go look at the reviews and somebody was like, was kind of interested in the podcast. And then I heard their annoying kid childish voices. So I had to exit. Grow up. <laughs> bitch. I was like, oh, God. He was like, Wait. grow up. Sorry about it. I was like, sorry, babe. Sorry, you don't have any humor. I know. Childish <laughs> We're voices. We're not for everyone. Well, just a reminder, my love. We are not older than you <laughs> so our voices are gonna sound younger than yours for real if you're telling oh. me to grow up you're obviously a lot older so instead i don't know but yeah that's what i have to say <laughs> you're like yeah. <laughs> Well, no, but I mean, we are gonna have some haters, so it's okay. But in serio, si no les gusta, pues se van y ya. Or oh, unfortunate. Babe, <laughs> you're all gonna sing that the whole episode. <laughs> I know. So, as I was saying, <laughs> oh, yeah. With my scary story. So, I love getting scared. Like, I love scary movies. I think that's my favorite genre. Uh, I love cuando me jalan las patas. No, I said I love getting scared, not I like getting possessed. <laughs> I, I love getting scared. Serious, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I know me either. Every time I look at myself, I'm like, Ugh. I forget. And then I look and I'm like, <gasps> get a little scared. Okay, okay. So I like getting scared. I love 
watching scary movies and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I live alone. So that is very scary within itself. So every time I have to go home after watching a scary movie or something, I'm like, oh, fuck. (laughs) And yesterday, I couldn't sleep, dude. I was in bed by 1030. And I was tired. I was like, oh, my God, today's going to be one of those days where I get to sleep early. So I had my day all planned out. I was going to wake up early, whatever. So in bed since 1030. And then it's 11.30. I couldn't go to sleep. I, bitch, you're fucking squishy scared me. I was like, what's that? Bitch. So I was saying, <laughs> 12.30, I couldn't go to sleep. One thirty, I couldn't go to sleep. So I was literally just tossing and turning like all night. Ew. And then after that, I'm like, okay, maybe I need to turn on my AC. Because I like sleeping like in the cold. I don't like uh-huh. sleeping in the hot. But I was a little scared. I was like, fuck, I don't want to get up and like see something run across my house when I go. Because the AC thing, you guys, is like out in the hallway of my house. Okay. So I was like, fuck. I know. I was like, I don't want to go out there. But I was like, you know what? Let me like get up and go do it. So I turn on my flashlight. I'm like looking everywhere, like pointing the flashlight everywhere. And I instantly remember two stories from Mm -hmm. our last episode. The one with the red eyes. (laughs) Bitch, no way. That one. So I'm like, fuck. I'm like, try not to look anywhere because I'm like, okay, I'm a little scared. And then the the little red eyes in the corner, like ding, ding, just staring at you. And then I thought about the one with, um, the one with the boy in white who like waves (gasps) high. So then I was like, I was like, okay, I don't want to like look anywhere. Bitch, tell me why as I'm in the hallway, fucking scared as fuck, turning down my AC, my phone lights up and guess what? What? Uh, Chucky. <laughs> She's like, I'm here. Our fucking episode went live. So all I <gasps> see, I don't know why you guys, but our episode went live at like 1.30 in the morning. What the heck? Again. So then I was like, mood. So the first thing I read, I didn't see that it was like a podcast notification. <gasps> all I saw was our title that was like the man. The man in. Who, no, the man who watches me sleep. <gasps> and I was like, oh, hell no. Bitch, that's scary I got what a so coincidence dude, yeah, like i'm like okay i was already terrified to get up i have to go out and like turn on my <gasps> flashlight i'm already thinking these things and i see that on my phone no mommy yeah i literally got so scared and then i was like oh wait it's my podcast notification but then i was like why right now like and it literally had just went live oh my god that is so fucking scary bitch so then i was like great so then i ran to my bed and then <laughs> that made me have more trouble sleeping last night damn so i quiero se dormiste I don't know. Probably like at three. Oh my god! Yeah, that's why I'm really tired. Oh, but I see. I'm tired too, guys. Me and Louis. Um, let me tell you guys the truth. It is nine p.m. and me and Louis. ¿Qué buscas, pinche chismoso? Usted sigue contando pinche historias. <laughs> Yo le estoy bajando el volumen. <laughs> pinche chismoso. <laughs> Usted. Um, what was I gonna tell you? What time it is? Oh, it's nine p.m. and we are over here sacrificing for you guys because we cannot miss a week, Louis. No, yeah, you guys. We can't. We're a, so dedicated to this shit. I have a very early fly in the morning, but I'm here. Mm, pobrecito. Okay, you guys. So today we are going to be talking about leyendas de miedo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. You're all talking about your birthday. Uh, no, just like scary legends that like I've always been intrigued about. Mm-hmm. And it's like maybe you know about some of them. Maybe you don't because you're a dumbass. But I really want to find out more and pick your brain about all this stuff. <gasps> Oh, I just remember what I was going to talk about. Tell us, tell us, hurry, hurry. <laughs> but it's not a good thing. What is it? I was just going to say, since we were on the topic of starting the podcast, on today's... Uh, we're ending it. No. Today's episode of What Did This Dumbass Forget This Time? Bitch! So you guys know almost every episode, Yoatsi forgets something, <laughs> and it's very annoying, my loves. I'm really pretty. I can't so help it. for this episode... She forgot her fucking SD card, which means we can't film without the SD card. So we spent about an hour at Target and Best Buy to get an (laughs) SD card. Look, you're really ursuling right now. I just wanted to throw that out there so you guys keep tabs on you. No, bitch. My best friend, Julie, she was here these last couple days. And the other day and every day that I like she knows that I'm going to film for the podcast. She's like, don't forget the key. She's like, don't mm-hmm. forget the key because she listens to it regularly. She's like, I listen and yeah, I best. know you forget the fucking key. Yeah. Dumbass. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Continue with your fucking caca legends or <gasps> what are we talking about? You don't want to do this podcast with me, huh? No, I want to leave. <laughs> He's really Ursula today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. All right. Well, anyways, I wanted to start off with La Yele. <laughs> Ew, with La Yelera. With La Leyenda. De La Llorona. 
Yeah, I would tell me. Her. Okay, what do you what do you know then? Tell me. Uh, she was born in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. well, what I know. Is this fucking chiona? All right, she comes for me. Vas no. a ver quién te baja las patas. Pues la, le una patada en la cabeza. Uh -huh. So she got her kids and she drowned them and they died. And now she's looking for them because she regrets it. Okay, but do you know why she drowned her kids? Because her husband cheated on her. No. Oh, why? Bitch. Ya ves, este güey no sabe ni madre. A ver, pues there's like a million lloronas. Okay. Well, the story that I know about the leyenda, I mean about the llorona. Um, <laughs> Am I drunk? I know. The story that I know about the llorona is that supposedly... She was really pretty. So her man was like, I want her. She is like the prettiest girl in town. So he got her. He married her. And he was all about her. Like he literally did everything, went above and beyond for this lady. But then they had kids. And the moment that they had kids, he stopped paying attention to her and started paying attention to the kids. Y ya como que he was still in love with her, pero no le ponía atención. He, she was mm. just kind of there. So she started becoming very jealous of her kids. And like all he would do was go to work and come back. Y ya no la pelaba. So this bitch was so full of rage and just had so much jealousy for her kids. Que su esposo ya no la quería. That one day she was like, all right, I'm going to take what hurt, what he loves the most. So he took, to, took him to the Rio y los ahogó. She I never heard of that. Yes, that's the story. You see, I told you you didn't know shit. You're a liar. <gasps> no, I made it up. No, sí. No, cierto. Que mm. sí. And si then, no, they would have called her la celosa. No, la llorona, because after, I think after her man found out what he did, like he fucking hated her even more. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they stoned her to death, like because of what she did. Uh -huh. Leventaron piedras y la mataron. And she died. And like her whole pueblito found out about it and killed her. And then that's why she came back and she would always be crying. And then just kind of, I think, regretting it because of what happened afterwards. And like, according to legends, she sounds like this. Me see home. Yeah, she always in the voice. <laughs> I highly doubt she's singing. <laughs> but then how would she say it, Aver? Like, me see <laughs> She's crying, not singing, puta. That is crying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ariana Grande. I've never heard anyone <laughs> sing like that. No, and then talking about La Llorona, I have a story about La Llorona from a family member. No, Mexico. I don't like that story. Oh, sorry, I'm going to tell it. All right, guys, this is a scary one. So this was in Mexico. I feel like all sightings of La Llorona are, are always in Mexico. Mexico. I've never heard like here. I, actually, before I forget, did you watch the Llorona movie, the one that they made? Yeah. I never watched it because it looked like it was going to be all boring. It kind of was. But that's what I'm saying. I don't remember in this movie they talked about her being jealous. Yeah. Well, it's because I guess everybody tells the legends differently. Uh -huh. But from what I remember and I read, because I actually read books about this stuff, that was like the leyenda. Hmm. I had a little book of like Mexican legendas when I was little from the uh, library. I wanted dude, to be a part of them. No, dude, it's so scary. Actually, now that I remember, I don't know why, but I went. I went to school, obviously. They had this book called Historias del Diablo. And it was in the public or in the kids' library. And I would always check that book out. I thought Wait, it was, was it so at cool. Our like elementary school? Yes. <gasps> no, I have another creepy story after yours about yeah. what happened to me in that school. <gasps> Bitch. <gasps> yeah. But it was called Historias del Diablo. I still mm -hmm. remember it so vividly. And me and my friends would rotate it because every week we had to get a different book. Mm -hmm. And like I would get it, my friends would get it, and I would just reread the stories because I thought they were so fucking creepy. Yeah. Or that one book, scary stories to tell in the dark. Oh, I remember those. Oh, I those, like those. Were those were good. But I better tell us your story, and then I'll tell mine about the. Oh. Um, well, basically in elementary school, I don't remember why, <clears throat> but in elementary school during class, I don't know if it was during the month of October. I don't fucking know why. I just remember I think I was like in third grade. Okay. And we would stop class for the segment of this lady who would come tell us stories. This lady, she was already a lot older. And she would tell us stories. But mm -hmm. these stories were about, like, the devil. Bitch! Yeah, and I don't understand why. <laughs> like, to this day, like, in the moment, I was just like, oh, somebody's coming to, like, tell us stories. But, like, now that I think ah. about it. And I don't, I don't remember if it was about like Halloween, like if she would come during that month to like get us in spooky season. But she told us a personal story that happened to her and it like had me traumado. And that's why Are you I gonna remember. Are going to share the story? Yeah, I can if I remember it. 
I remember like what it was about, but I don't remember too much in detail. Okay. <clears throat> but ugh, fuck, I'm trying to remember if she said it was her personal story uh-huh. or if it was somebody she knew. But I want to say it was her personal story. Okay. And she wasn't reading off of a book or anything. It was very much like podcast, like you're telling it to people. Okay, okay. So basically we were all on the floor, all fucking little kids. She was telling us how there was like a baile she had to go to or something i don't remember how the story started but basically long story short there was this man who she saw found very attractive she was walking to this baile and this guy like picked her up or something was like hey like are you going to the blah 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 baile or something she was like oh yeah yeah he's like do you want to come with me like i can take you and she thought he was very 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 handsome so she was just kind of like gagged at the fact that he wanted to take her so she was like i don't know who that is (laughs) well like i know who that is but like i don't know much about uh-huh <laughs> okay <laughs> and basically he ended up taking her to the baile or something and uh, i think at the baile they were dancing and i don't know what they're like spinning and next thing you know that this dude ends up turning into like the fucking devil what but she said that i remember her saying that one of his foot turns into like a hoof is that what they're called yeah like a horse's foot or something like that and the other one turns into like a fucking chicken leg i don't fucking know i'm trying to remember as best as i could but i remember being terrified they don't know why they were telling us this story and she was just basically saying something that she was like ended up dancing with the devil and the devil wanted to like take her wait and, uh, this story seems so like i think it was i'm not kidding i think that story was in that book so then maybe that's where she got it from yes because as you're telling the story i'm picturing it how i would picture it when i was little i think i've been told this story or i read it and i don't remember it too well but that's what i'm saying i was like the fact that you're talking about this book maybe she like memorized it and told us but yeah she was telling us something that she ended up like dancing with him and he ended up like unraveling himself turning into the devil and all because i think she had done something and that's why he like came for her i think she was being selfish i don't know what but she did something and he ended up like trying to kill her or take oh her my gosh, so I don't fucking what know the fuck but i think it was that same book bitch what a coincidence i'm, I'm not even that kidding you then. no i'm scared like, well now i want to know because if i reread the story and it is like it'll forever solve that mystery in my head because forever <gasps> i was always like why did she tell us that story but if it's from that book then that explains she probably just wanted to scare the fuck out of us well then get it dude i'm not getting it i'm getting it it's on amazon i, was I see say, it on the little I'm thing search it up on amazon all right we will continue <clears throat> to tell creepy stories after this quick break no. grab your popcorn okay so back from the commercial break all right so the story about the yorona this happened to a family member in mexico as louis was saying i feel like all these stories happen in mexico Mm -hmm. and she was chilling with her baby in her house and she said it was pretty late at night the baby woke her up and that she was just like okay like time to go back to mimi's not the baby wouldn't go back mimi so then she was like "Ah." and she said that she had to go to the bathroom so she just remembers she put the baby down And I guess in Mexico, a lot of the bathrooms are outside. Yeah. They're not like in the house or literally like you have to walk a little bit outside. Even like the shower. It's like outside. So that she had to walk like a little bit to get to the bathroom and that she goes to the bathroom or she was trying to go to the bathroom. And on her way there, she started just hearing like literally like. Like in a distance, yeah. I, I kind of remember the story, but not like in yeah. detail. But I remember they said they were fucking terrified of going to the bathroom because it was yes. already really late at night, but that they had to go. Yeah. And then like in a faint, they start hearing the little... And they're just... He- that's why That's why earlier when I was doing the Yorona sound, I was like, because <laughs> that story stuck in my head of how this family member told us what she heard, that it was literally like... like yeah, like that. But like that it sounded so distant but yet so close yes and that she was like oh fuck no like it just kept happening and she felt like it was just getting louder and louder and that she literally was like fuck that she like booked it back into her house she grabbed the baby and she's like i'm not fucking moving from here and i think like for the rest of the night she just didn't sleep because she was so spooked out and she was like i swear to god that was a yorona yeah i remember them saying that like there was like it was super late at night I don't remember if they said that they actually heard the crying saying like mis hijos, but mm-hmm. very much like just very the much crying. Just like, oh. Yeah, and that it was just like, what the fuck else would that be? I saw the neighbors like, ah. I no, I think I did say that. I was like, what, what if it was your neighbor? And they were like, that was not my fucking neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor was like, my husband left me. I know. I remember asking, I was like, what if it was your neighbor? Because <laughs> like, I, be- I believe in that stuff, you guys. But sometimes I'm just like, okay, let's see what was going on around. Like you try to figure it out. Yeah. But I've actually seen videos like online surface, like uh, people Ew. posting it. 
And it's so crazy because, like, obviously there's videos that you watch where it sounds so fake. You're just like, hey, okay, whatever. Because, like you said, it's an urban legend. Who oh, knows? shit. Sorry, I just realized in English it's called The Weeping Woman. Oh, yeah. 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 The Weeping Woman. The I mean, Weeping Woman because she's weeping. But, like, obviously it's always going to be, like, different. It's, an, it's a story that's been told for years and years and years. It's about, it's about to change a little bit. But... Yeah. Um, in this video that I saw, like, the cry just sounded so, like, ghostly-like. And, like, you couldn't see where it was coming from, but you could, like, hear it. Uh-huh. And I don't... The person was just crying. It wasn't saying mis hijos, but it was just, like, crying. And I was like, oh, my God, that sounds fucking terrifying. Yeah. And I remember it was stuck in my head for a while because, like... I don't I feel like that was the closest thing to, like, what I can picture of what, like, the Yorona would sound like. Yeah. Because... That bitch is gonna get tired of saying "mizi holes." Like so it's forever. just like wailing and weeping. Just wailing. Like- yeah. <laughs> She's all Dory. So like, <laughs> well, it was just like a, a lady crying and like yeah, just yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah, like that. I swear, Aye. very like that. And obviously, people are just like, okay, the weeping woman or whatever. And like, like you don't us back. Yeah, <laughs> very those vibes. I'm really itchy for my legs. I think I got. Oh, it's this shit. Your legs my are coming scales. back. Uh-huh. <laughs> my legs are like, Pay for you turn into a fish right now. <laughs> like water, water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this puta. No, I have more stories. I was just waiting to see if you're gonna add anything else. <laughs> I don't have anything else on the euro now. All right, I have a good one. What? Have you heard of Pascualita? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <gasps> it's not funny. Pascualita, <laughs> the name. <laughs> Va a venir por ti. Día de Pascua. No, it's not the same thing. You've never heard of Pascualita? No. Dude, I love this story and it's always intrigued me so, so very much. I've so this happened that. in Mexico, in Chihuahua. Okay? Beverly also Hills. in Mexico. Aha, uh-huh, in Chihuahua. <laughs> uh-huh. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it happened in Chihuahua. Okay, so there was this girl, this beautiful, beautiful young girl who was about to get married. Her name was Pascualita. Mm -hmm. That was just her name. Um, And this was not that, no, it wasn't that long. I don't know. But um, she was about to get married and she died a few hours before her wedding. And she was like in her, she was already in her, ¿cómo se llama? Su vestido de novia. Like she was already dressed, ready to go. Y la picona, like, ah, let me go on my phone. (laughs) Fuck you, bitch. I wanted to see something before I forget. Okay, you could have kept telling your fucking story. Hear me. (laughs) Who am I telling the story to? The wall. Well, because I don't want to forget what I have to say after. Okay. So, Pascualita died a few hours before her wedding porque la mordió un alacrán. So it, <laughs> bitch, you know me? <laughs> wait till I show you, puta. And so she died, and her mom, her mom owned a boutique of dresses. Ah, <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura, Mama Laura. <laughs> it's all Laura before bitch, her wedding. Fuck you. I've never Let me heard the story. You. Okay. So she died and her mom was devastated because she didn't even get to get married and she died. And so legend says it that her mom wanted to keep her beauty and wanted to make sure <laughs> fuck you <laughs> <laughs> that she would never go away because she loved her. So she embalmed her. What's that? When you like like uh, House of Wax, you know how they put <gasps> oh, wax yeah, on there? Remember yeah. those monos? Uh-huh. Like that. You like embalm a human and you do stuff to them like when you do taxidermy to an animal. Ew. She embalmed her para que, so she can preserve her beauty and just keep her there. And that was a legend. But then like everybody just thought, okay, yes, se murió, yes, se fue. Yeah. But then later in the lady's boutique, nobody knew that she embalmed the girl. Oh, I think I've heard of this story. And the mom was just like, my daughter died. Let's move on. Yeah. Later on, like a few years later, a girl... Uh, like uh-huh. a mannequin was in the window and it looked exactly like her daughter. I've heard of this story. And people were like, that looks just like her daughter. And she was just like, yeah, it's just a mannequin. Mm-hmm. But dude, in the videos, look it up, you <gasps> guys, on say. TikTok, on YouTube, mm-hmm. look up Pascualita and her story. Bitch, the texture on her hands, yeah. the nails, the eyes, like it's insane. It literally looks like a human. It's That's a human. I mm-hmm. believe 100% that was Pascualita and her mom embalmed her and she put her as display in her boutique. And people have videos of her eyes moving. People have videos of her like turning. Ay, how she's still, oh, you mean like her ghost? 
or the the mannequin. But she would be. She didn't. She die. How would it be? She moving? died. Oh, it's haunted. That's why I said the ghost. Yes, but people have videos of like the mannequin fucking moving its eyes and shit. It's all over TikTok. I remember seeing that. I don't know that's what the story was called, but I remember it surfaced on my shit, and I kind of like went digging to see. Yes, what was that. dude, and it's so so crazy. Like all the stories, and so I guess a lot of brides, it became like a a crazy thing in Chihuahua. So anytime they put a dress on the mannequin, brides would come and they were like, I want that dress because they thought Pascualita would give them good luck for their wedding and for their marriage. So a lot of women would go and ask for the dress that Pascualita was wearing. So the little boutique, even though the mom already passed away, the new owners, they would still keep dressing up Pascualita. (laughs) But very recently, if you look it up, very recently in the last couple of years, they finally removed her from the stand. And like, it was crazy because people, ya lo habían decorado, like they put Pascualita, like everybody, like they would leave little flowers for her and they would come and ask her for a husband. And like, it was this crazy thing in Chihuahua. You don't think, like, you don't wonder why the police would like not go check if it was real or not. Like no, because, no, because they were probably like, bitch, it's a mannequin, private property. Like, give us a good reason. Because you can't just bargain into a fucking a business and be like, let me split up this mannequin. I win. You have to have permits. No, I mean, duh. But people don't know if they stole the mannequin or if it just disappeared. Well, they said it, it was still there. No, I told you. A few, you're not paying attention to my story. <laughs> a few years ago, it, it's gone. It's not there anymore. Oh, so shit. people were all sad, but they still have like a little stand. And then they've interviewed employees of the boutique and they've said like, yeah, like she's real. Like I can feel presence. Like there's a lot of spooky things that happened in the boutique. Or I think some girl said that Pascualita saved her life because she almost died. And that she like before she died, she got ran over across the street and before she died she was like please save me and that she didn't die what the heck that's crazy like so much crazy shit but she's a crazy legend from chihuahua and i was like fascinated by that story for so long we're not gonna look into it because i want to know more about look into it you guys should definitely look into it you're mean for laughing at her name it's cute i didn't say it was ugly you were like (laughs) i just never heard it so i was just like what story are you about to tell me she's gonna stand by your bed tonight and be like (laughs) hey la tuya I'm like, what up, girl? A ver si cierto. No, stop. A ver si cierto. No. You're going to be all wax in the next episode. <gasps> Bitch, I'm like, remember um, that movie, House of Wax? I love that movie. Yeah. I was going to ask you. So, as a Hello Kitty stan, <gasps> what are your thoughts on that urban legend? Wait, what's the urban legend? So, from what I remember, you guys, uh, fuck, I don't remember if it was a Chinese or Japanese family that created I think Japanese I don't remember too well but it was something about a mom and that her daughter had um mouth cancer and then um she said she was like trying to pray so that they could fix the daughter and that she would be like saved or something like that because doctors said they couldn't do anything about it that the daughter was basically just I think she was gonna like pass away so she was like Aww. looking for anything to help her and she said since nothing was helping like not the doctors not her prayers that she turned to like the devil <gasps> and was basically just like please save my daughter like i'll do anything blah, 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 blah. and basically she ended up making a deal with the devil that like if she <clears throat> created something that people would be like i don't know gravitated to or obsessed yeah. with that it would save her daughter and that's how i guess she ended up coming up with hello kitty and i remember too well but i guess hello kitty and like Japanese or Chinese means um, hello demon or something like that. Bitch. Yeah, something like that. I'm pretty sure you can search it. No, I'm pretty sure. You can search it up. And then that's why Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth. And then it was just so happened that like everybody's obsessed with Hello Kitty. It's just like a cat with a bow. (gasps) Yeah. Ew, I don't like that. That's not the legend that I heard. Well, it's not a legend. What did you hear? Well, I just heard that people were sad because... Uh, the creators of Hello Kitty came out and they were like, sorry, babes, Hello Kitty is not an actual kitty. Hello Kitty is actually supposed to be a little girl who is five years old and weighs two apples, but is this the size of five apples put together, like stacked upon each other. That's all I heard. Bitch, well, that's in the fucking, that's. Uh, but I didn't hear that. Like in the, the cartoon skip. world. Yes, that's what Hello Kitty is. That's but I didn't hear about it. You know. Yes, it's all everywhere. I feel Ew. like I heard that since I was little, but like it's still a thing now. And like. 
Yeah, I guess the, the little kid survived because nope. they created something really well. Nope, that's not real because my whole beauty room is going to be Hello Kitty. So, And that's I why I was like, that. that's why it's so like weird, that like such a coincidence because people do obsess over Hello Kitty, you know? And I'm just like, huh. Uh, you what, see? I know. Well, not only you, but so many people like obsess over Hello Kitty. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy because. Hello Titty. <laughs> I remember that as a <laughs> yeah. shirt. Sure. Freaking Hello hot, hot topic. Another one that used to scare the shit out of me when I was a little girl. A story? I, yeah. Not a story, but just like a legend. Okay. And I don't, to this day, I don't know why the fuck it would scare me, but a chupacabras. Oh, yeah. Dude, I was fucking terrified of the chupacabras when I was little. What do you know about the chupacabra? Oh, it's an animal get chupacabras. You're Dumbass. me. <laughs> well, what else is Leaving. there to it? I'm out of so here. So basically, it's this I'm going to go to a different podcast. <laughs> it's this fucking animal that will like chew on cows. And like, right? Goats. Oh, goats. Chupacabras. The goat only, sucker. Only like a dick sucker. The Adley. only other information I have about that is um, from Lost Tapes. Yeah. That's what I was but if up. it was a fucking chivo sucker, why was it sucking on the family? Exactly. That's why I was terrified. And I remember as a little kid, my, one of my uncles would be like, Por te viene, no viene el chupacabra. And, I'm like, Ay. and I, I don't know why I was so scared of it. I feel like there's different kind of like images of the chupacabra. There's some where it's like a really big, like almost like werewolf type of thing. Uh -huh. like really tall and like comes for kids. But then there's uh -huh. also the ones that I've seen that are like real proof of it or whatever. Because they've even found like dead chupacabras yes. or whatever and they it's don't like have smaller. hair right yeah it's like a smaller dog looking thing like naked mole rats very that those vibes very nasty vibes mm -hmm. but that and then what comes up to your head when you think of the word kukui i don't know i feel like every time i, I always just associated 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 el kukui with like my closet <laughs> so I don't think I have like an image of like what the cuckoo. I actually like. have an image in my head, and I feel like he would look like an alien. Ew, why an alien? Like <laughs> Voldemort, almost like Voldemort, but with alien eyes. Mm, with I don't me, it was more why. like a same, almost like the chupacabra. It's just like a hairy fucking thing. I don't know, in the closet, just like staring at you. But I remember, like growing up too, they would always spook us with the fucking cuckoo. Nah, dude, my grandma would sing me this creepy ass song, but I can't remember it anymore. What do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, she would sing me this creepy song and it stuck with me. But it would basically just be like, go, duermete, duermete, because if you don't go to sleep, like the cuckoo is going to come get you. Hey, what a cute lullaby. Hey, I but I'd be like, <gasps> no, like, you're going to get it. Despierto. I don't remember this the song. I used to remember it. Uh, Duermete, mi niña, vete Bish, a dormir. That's not about the cuckoo. Something, something, porque si no te va a ganar el cuckoo. <laughs> I don't remember it, Louis, but sure. I promise it <laughs> happened. That's a name. Louis is just love. bullying me this whole episode, y'all. He's fucking Ursula. <laughs> no. You didn't even put on your necklace, you fucking uh, witch bitch. <laughs> and that fucking stupid necklace was like 20 bucks. <laughs> oh. Go get it. Uh, no. All right. So you tell your scary stories to tell in the dark. You puta about the earthquake. Okay. I'm waiting for that one. Uh, he's all excited for this one. <gasps> I'm gonna sound like a dog and it was your microphone. Like, yeah. I think I'm getting a migraine. <laughs> I have a horrible headache <laughs> and it hurts right here. It's all the fucking goo gooies that you've been telling me about. I'm like disassociating. I'm literally alone in this podcast, you guys. My head. Uh, uh, take off your wig, Frankenstein. Oh, should I try? So I see if like, that helps. Sorry for who, if you're not. Uh, <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> the line, bitch. That's probably what it was. <laughs> huh? That shit relieved my whole headache. <laughs> you guys, I have a dent on my he head. He has a dent on his forehead from the fucking uh, Ursula wig. She thinks she was getting into my soul. Oh. She was like, whoa, whoa, Oh my god, no, you guys, that's probably. Then can I take it off too? No, you have to be in character. You're fucking mean. Dude, I was like, why does my head hurt so bad? And it was that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> hi. I, Anyways, I'm going to tell you guys about a story. This actually happened. I don't know if you guys, a lot of you guys remember if you live in California. In Central. 
Central California. California. This happened on literally Halloween in October 31st. I don't know what fucking year, though. 1916. No, it was either 2006, 2007, or 2008. It was one of those years, because I know I was in middle school. And it was Halloween, and I attended my first Halloween party. It was at our neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. They threw a cute little Halloween party, and friends from school came. It was so cute. (laughs) (laughs) Uh-huh. And the, uh, 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 <laughs> sorry. One that. more thing, and I leave. I'm sick. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'm dying I'm over leaving. here. I want to go to La Platica or something. Yes, yes, yes. Our chins and giggles. Like, can you take me? <laughs> <laughs> like chins, giggles, and dumbs. <laughs> like, you guys take me because my co-host is not co-hosting with me today. Go. Well, I forgot. You were at a party. Oh, I was Everyone at a party. From school was there. Yeah, everybody from you were school was there. Dressed as Fiona. No, bitch. I can't even remember my, my costume. But there was no drinking allowed because we were literally fucking middle schoolers, okay? Mm-hmm. And then I just remember one of my friends was like, I really need to go to the bathroom. There's something in my eye. So we go with her to the bathroom. And then out of nowhere, there's just a fucking earthquake, bitch. Like a big ass earthquake. And we're like, ah, in the hallway. And it was a pretty strong earthquake. Uh-huh. And I just remember one of my friends, like we were in the hallway. And I just see my friend like moving side to side. Ah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> my <boss up. laughs> uh, They're all moving side to side. <laughs> How? I'm trying. I'm trying so hard in this podcast. Yes, the way. He's just making fun of me the whole podcast. Okay, then. Fuck you. I couldn't this, take you serious. This really happened. We were literally. I remember my friend grabbing onto the wall, and she was like. <laughs> You're fucking mean. Well, let me tell y'all from our point uh, POV. So I don't remember how old I was, but I remember yo at see went. And these were our literal neighbors, you guys. Like, literally 0.5 seconds <laughs> next to us. The only reason our parents let us go. Well, no, yo at see went. I stayed home because I oh, was fucking, shit. like, two years old. I don't know. <laughs> and I remember we were, like, all chilling. I think I was, like, going to eat cereal or something. And then... We're chilling and all we feel is a <laughs> and everybody's and like freaked out. My parents are like, you are And Oh, because like, I was at the party. <laughs> we run out and my parents are like grabbing us and like we run outside to the front of the house. Yeah. And then we see a bunch of like I was gonna say a bunch of Yoatsi. <laughs> We're gonna say a bunch of us. Yoatsi and a bunch of her friends like outside like crying like that was Yeah. <laughs> it was scary. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of people were kind of scared. Because of, I feel like no había pasado mucho que pasó that ugly ass earthquake that destroyed like all of oh, fucking California. Yeah. So I feel like people thought it was in a bit, because it lasted a good while. Yeah. And, and it was, was like on Halloween, one. bitch. Yeah, that was That was what made part. it scarier, because I'm like, we're terrified of natural disasters like that, because you never know mm. when they're coming. And I'm always, I was like, out of all nights on Halloween, I was like, oh, hell no. I've had really bad experiences with like Halloween parties <laughs> up until like, I want to say like last year or two years ago. I don't think I've really ever been to a Halloween party. The first one that I went to, because like I said, I didn't really have friends in high school, so I didn't really go out to any parties. Uh-huh. I remember this first Halloween party that I went to. I was all hot on my Like you were it. out for makes, sure? Yeah, it makes me cringe. Why? What happened? I fucking... I fucked someone. Guess, bitch. Guess what my costume was. Like, if you're thinking, like, Louis J. Mayor. Okay, okay, okay. Guess what my costume was. You have to be a sexy cop. I said J. Mayor. A nurse. Mm-mm. You at sea. <laughs> ah, bitch, no. <laughs> what were you? A bunny. I feel like that's <gasps> oh, the go-to, wait, like... was that that one party? Which one? I'll whisper in his ear. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh no, that wasn't oh, for Halloween. No? Ma- yeah, remember you guys were gonna all dress up as bunnies? I don't know. You're gonna be Hugh Hefner? Oh, that was fucking a whole nother time. No, this oh, was my shit. first Halloween party, and basically I was like a fucking bunny, super typical. <laughs> I remember, like, oh, it was all DIY. Uh, I just picked up like some bunny ears and like a little bow tie, uh, and I did my own makeup. <clears throat> Dude, I had flashback the house down. Boots. You have pictures? 
Dude, I remember at some point I had them on my Instagram. They're archived now for sure. Post them. No. Uh, fuck no. Fuck but no. I had like flashback and I remember looking at the picture. I was like, ew, the fact that I thought I no, ain't. You were like, like uh, yes, I really thought like all the hombres were going to be like, who's that? Dude, ew. I am so sick and tired of the last minute costumes. Like Bunny is one of them. I'm I'm definitely one of those people, and I hate it for Dude, myself. That's I'm, why I'm over it. I'm one of those last minute. I'm always a every put even on Instagram. <sighs> everyone calls me out on it. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, Louie, you're gonna be a devil again." Dude, that's why I'm so over it. Last year too, I remember Laura had a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. It was super cute, and last minute I didn't have a costume, so I was a fucking like bunny or devil or something, and I was like, "Bitch, if I'm this one more time, yeah, that's me. Uh, this year we're like bunnies again." I know, no, I hate it. I'm I rather go bitch. in this. <laughs> I, I show up they're like oh, oh your shit name is Saint i'm gonna show up like mean girls when she shows up at the bride with the teeth and everything uh -huh. that'd That's be funny be if me. somebody recreated that hey she, guys a dead bride <laughs> you're off again what was your name to beat those what was it fuck you corpse bride no bitch the one that was all mummified the dead bride you just told the fucking story pascualita oh there you go Pitos, <gasps> bitch. oh my god oh my god she's gonna come from andele sure. cabron oh, i don't like that one i'm scared <laughs> pendejo chupito mm, i knew it was something with a c pascualita <laughs> you hear me <laughs> como lisa after the earthquake <laughs> wait i don't know she said she was like <laughs> She said, she's like, you're the ocean. I have a scary story. I think, were you there? I was there, but I only remember like the initial thing that happened. I don't remember any details. Okay. So <clears throat> this was, we used to live in an alley and all of my friends lived on the same alley. Mm -hmm. So we always hung out. My parents were very strict with a curfew for us when we were out playing in the front yard. Mm hmm and my parents would only let us out past like six. The moment it was getting close to being dark, they were like, yeah, metanse. Yeah. Every single time. But this day was super odd for all of us. And all of the neighbor, the kids and their parents were the same way. The minute it was starting to get dark and the sun was setting, metanse, yeah. yeah. But for whatever reason, I don't know if you remember, it was late. And yeah, our the parents, sun was down for the sure. sun was down, it was dark. And our parents hadn't called us in. And it was even weirder because it was a school night. So we were just like, what the fuck? And me and my friends started joking around. We're like, why haven't our parents told us to go inside? And we were like, we're not going inside, like, unless they call us because we're having fun. Yeah. So me and my friends were like, oh, my God, it's the end of the world. I remember we just kept yelling that. Why? We're like, it's the end of the world. I don't know, because it was it was really weird to us. That it was so dark. And we we're kind of like spooked out because it was dark. And our parents, like, Como que les valió madre that yeah. night. <laughs> they were like, let them. And all of the parents, it was like all of us out there. And we were just running back and forth from the alley. And then because it was so dark, we started telling each other scary stories. And we were like, I remember we were like sitting in a little circle and all the neighborhood kids were there. And we were all just fucking scaring the fuck out of each other because, I mean, we could. Mm. <clears throat> and then I just remember one of the runnings that we were running back and forth through the alley. We just look at the end of the alley, dude. Mm. And we see a guy, a clown, if I should say it was a clown holding balloons and he was just skipping at the end of the alley and mm -hmm. then he just skips back and me and my friends i just remembered we all looked at each other and we were like ah! and we started yelling and we were like oh my god did you fucking see that like and me and my best friend julie you guys have probably seen her on my socials <clears throat> but we were talking it's like bitch did you see that like what the fuck and then in chinga we all just went back inside our houses and we're like did we just see that like are we tripping the fuck out? Kind of like what happened with us when, when we saw the the werewolf on the, the window. Yeah. How we were all spooked out because we all saw the same thing. And we just got really scared because I think during that time too, there was a lot of uh, killings. Clowns were like doing fucked up shit around the States. So we had heard those stories and then we saw a fucking creepy ass clown just like at the end of the alley and we got so fucking spooked yeah i just remember that i, I don't really remember like everything that happened in Dijon. i remember seeing somebody at the end with the like balloons and just and hopping, then we dude. all screamed and ran in but um i don't even remember if it was like around like october vibes though like i just i, I don't, don't think so how. i don't know it, it would definitely wasn't in october because i think if it was in october we would have been like oh it's halloween people uh -huh. are dressed up it was not during october it was like during regular normal time and there was a lot of clown killings and a clown scary shit happening in the states mm. 
So I think that's why we got so spooked out. And then what's crazy is that today I asked my friend, I was like, do you have any scary stories? And then she was like, no, bitch, but I'll never forget the clown at oh, the yeah. alley. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was like, I was going to tell that story. So, like, in my head, I'm like, I'm not fucking crazy. I know yeah. we saw that shit. Like, it's not something that you, like, imagined. Yeah. you have proof from somebody else that saw it. No, dude, and it's all scary. Like, why the fuck would there be a random-ass clown late at night just, like, yeah. you know, like, walking around? And I remember that one. Good thing I'm not, like, terrified of clowns, like, those people that have, like, a phobia of clowns. That's what I was going to say. I don't really have, like, a phobia of clowns, but I'm, I, I, I guess, scared of what's associated with clowns. Like what? Like, well, like you said, there was, like, there's, I feel like it's been a couple of times where people, like, dress up as clowns and do stupid shit yeah or like there's been like murders that are like clowns yeah. so i'm not necessarily scared of like oh my god a clown i'm gonna freak out phobia but it's just more like whenever i see somebody with that it's almost just connected to something ugly with for yeah me. well you know that serial killer uh, something gacy yeah i forgot his name yeah that one was oh that dude but that was scary. he was a legit serial killer <clears throat> and he would dress up as a clown and he would do stuff to boys and he would yeah, kill them that's really scary and if you ha you guys haven't seen american horror story freak show the clown that they put in that show it was based off of the real clown oh yeah i did see that actually yeah. that was scary. That's so fucking scary all right louis before we end this spooky scary episode but we'll guess the spooky song you come little children i'll take the away and we fall asleep to mm -hmm. the night sounds familiar but i don't know it's a disney movie and it's a scary song come little children i'll take you away little red running head <sighs> <laughs> what one more chance Little it's a Halloween movie. Everyone loves it. Hocus Pocus. Yes, bitch. Really? I don't the remember pretty that song. witch, the blonde <clears throat> one. I always wanted to be her. Oh, but that's I the remember. song that she would sing to lure the kids. Like, come little children. I, come with I me. put a spell on you. I've been. I've into the main <laughs> And now girl. you're more. We should have <laughs> dressed as them. And who's going to be the third? Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. All right, you guys. I think this is going to be it because Louie is not here. I don't know where the fuck his brain is. Sorry, you guys. I'm sick. I so did my brain all the work. talking. Now my brain hurts. Good. Hear me. No, you guys, like, for real, I'm pretty sick. So I feel like shit. I but <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> it's all on theme. <laughs> no, but we definitely did not want to miss another episode. And yeah, usually I never shut the fuck up. But I feel like my, my head just hurts. So I couldn't. Today he was like, I'm going to shut the fuck up. I know. And I get like, right into this video. No, and let you out to do the video. I'm tired. Oh, yeah. But we definitely still told some good stories and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys mm -hmm. for listening and cooperating with us. <laughs> and I'm still excited for spooky season. And yeah. next episode will be better because Louis will be fully present, I hope. Yes, yeah, so I'll have a few days to recover. So I think by then I'll be good. A uh, few days to get chile <laughs> and I'll be good. <laughs> but it was still a good episode. Yeah, it was still pretty good. Puta Pascualita's going to come get you. Okay, you guys. <laughs> we'll right, you see guys. you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.